Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a card for you guys today featuring my August Simon Says Stamp card kit and this is the Party Like a Panda kit. So I'm jumping right into this card. I am cutting two small pieces of the deco foil transfer sheets that came in the kit and this is the flocked transfer sheets the black one and the white one and this is my little picture book panda I am just going to cut that little panda out but first I'm cutting also a piece of the stick it double-sided adhesive that came to with the kit and I'm just basically gonna make stickers out of these little panels and then I'm going to use my big kick and I'm going to cut these little um, panda bears out now one will be in white and one will be in black but then i'll just piece together the pieces that i need kind of like a puzzle so i'm doing this part first and then i'll also start working on the panel of my card next um so as you can see i'm just gonna run those two pieces through i'm actually sending them through my die cutting machine a couple times just to make sure there is a good cut um, I am using a piece of uh, colored cardstock uh, that's doll pink that came into the kit and I'm just using that to poke all my little pieces out over that so that I don't lose any of the pieces and I'm going to do the same thing for this next piece. I just think this is the cutest, cutest card kit. I've just been super busy. As y'all know, I've been into making mini albums, and I had to make a fast mini album for a coworker of mine, which I did post a uh, video to show you guys that project. I completed that, and um, yeah. But anyway, back to this video. Um, I am using this Happy Birthday panel die, and this is a Sizzix, I think, in Stephanie, Stephanie Bernard die. I love Love this little panel die and this is what I'm gonna use for the background of my card today I used a piece of that uh, rainbow color stripey doodlebug paper that came in the kit I think this is such a cute card kit very 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 cute love it love it love it so I'm just basically poking out all those little extra pieces from um, the die and um, just getting ready to prepare that to adhere to my card panel and for my card panel I'm gonna be using a um, just a, a cut of the doll pink cardstock that came in the kit and uh, I'm just going to adhere this onto this doll pink cardstock I'm using my scotch photo uh, spray adhesive for this it just makes it easier when you have a die like this to just spray the back and go ahead and adhere it down it's much easier than trying to use liquid glue so now I'm just taking all my little pieces that I'm gonna need from the panda and I'm just basically placing them where um, they need to go before I actually stick them down it's kind of like putting together a puzzle but these little bitty pieces can be very tricky um, to keep up with this is just the cutest I just keep saying it I just love this car kit I love this car kit just as much as I love the uh, the B, uh, I think it was the B Happy last month's car kit, anyways. Um, just really fun. And I really love these little storybook little dies that they have. And I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase more of these. So now I'm taking that negative space from one of the pieces that I cut the uh, little panda out and I'm just taping that down on the edge of my card panel and basically it, it's going to help me with the placement of my little bear. I'm pulling off that uh, sticky, uh, that uh, backing of that sticky side and then just going ahead and puzzle piecing all the little pieces back into place where they go. And it's very handy to have like a little jewel picker or pick tool to help pull the adhesive off those really little pieces. I was struggling for a little bit.
but using that negative part from the die cut, it really helped with this part of the card making. I thought about it after it was already too late when I had already started adhering all the pieces down. I should have made this little panda bear where I could have popped them up for some dimension, but I will add some dimension to the card front a little bit later in the video. I use a little of my liquid adhesive to stick those little dot eyes back in. Um, <laughs> but next, I have uh, mounted a stamp from my stash onto my Tim Holtz uh, stamping platform. And this is just a happy birthday stamp and banner that came in a Sizzix Banners number two um, set with the with the dies and the stamps. So I'm just using that as the sentiment for the front of the card. And I'm using my Versamark ink. And um, I did use my, um, my static powder tool before I stamped that down. And um, just giving it a good press. And um, I'm gonna use my Ranger Detail White Embossing Powder to uh, emboss this uh, stamped image so I'm using like a coffee filter and um, that's what's going to catch my excess powder and I could just easily put it back in the container once I'm done and as you can see using that powder tool beforehand made it super easy I didn't have any additional powder sticking to my image um, yeah, so I like to remember that step. So next I am taking my, um, Wagner heating tool and I love this heating tool. It gets very hot, very fast. And I am, um, just applying some heat to melt that powder. And I'm going to do that to the front and just a little bit to the back, just to kind of help with the warping of that paper. And then I'm going to take the matching die from that Sizzix Banners 2 die set. And I am going to tape that matching die right over this and run it through my big cake. Now, I was not very accurate in my placing of this die over this banner because I got it all crooked. But it's okay. I did not want to waste it. I used it anyway. And it still came out cute. <laughs> But um, yeah, I have to be careful with that in the in the future. I, I think it's because I wasn't directly over. I wasn't di directly looking overhead over that. And so I didn't see that I had misplaced the die on top of the image, which I can see it now on camera after the fact, but I didn't see it when I was actually filming. So yeah, I'm just going to pull the camera view out a little bit so you guys can see I mean this is not necessary but I just I'm not that I'm not that good with editing and all the cutting and all of that I just I just left it in <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna run it through a couple times and then um, I'll have my sentiment for the front of the card and the black and white just ties the the little panda in with that rainbow color background and it looks really good like that so as y'all can see it's very crooked but it's okay so just kind of finding my placement now of where I think I want to put this banner on the front of my card and I do know that I want to add some dimension with this banner so I'm just going to cut some um, double sided adhesive foam just the negative part from some adhesive circles that I had and I've used up but I'm just using the whole thing until it's gone and um, I don't I don't like to waste any of this um, it's it's usable so use it 
And um, so I'm just cutting that up. I like to just cut those up. And what I need to do is just go ahead and pre-cut it up into squares so that I don't have to waste time while I'm filming doing that. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to pop that up at the top corner of my panel. And then I just realized that the card was still missing something. It was too much space between the little bear and the banner. And so I was figuring in my mind, what do I want to add? I don't, I didn't want to take away from the cute little background, but I also knew that it was a lot in the background to have all that empty space between the bear and the banner. So next I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this panel down onto my card front. And I'm just using a four and a quarter by five and a half inch side folding card. Um, I cut it from a piece of 110 pound white cardstock that I get from, it's by the Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. And I'm also using my new favorite liquid adhesive. It is the Art Glitter Glue. I Ever since I started using this glue, this has become my favorite liquid glue. It dries really fast, but it also gives you that little bit of time if, if you need to wiggle something in space, in in. And um, so, yeah, so I decided off camera, I cut a few of the little balloons, one in the doll pink, one in green and one in yellow. And I also punched a small, tiny little heart in that uh, in that doodle bug paper that I'm going to add to the chest of the little panda bear. Now, I didn't do that on 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 uh, camera because I forgot the little heart was so small that it set to the side and I forgot until at the very end after I had finished the video and waved by to you guys that I noticed I didn't put that on his little chest. So I did add that after the fact and it was a cute little touch. So basically I'm just placing these little balloons, trying to figure the placement of these and I wanted them to look like the bear is holding them. I thought that was a really cute element. It didn't take away from my background, but it also filled in that empty space. Um, and also gave me a, a reason to use um, the Party Like a Panda stamp set. That was the balloons that came from the stamp set. So I stamped them and um, my VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I used the coordinating dies because I did order the coordinating dies for this uh, this kit and um, just cut them out and like I said I have a I have to really watch my placement of the dies over the images because I also got the stems of the balloons a little off but it's okay um, it's not too noticeable and I'm also popping the little balloons up with a, a dimensional square that I cut. And um, I'm just going to use liquid glue to adhere the little stems to the bear, to the hand of the bear, so that they don't move. And to finish this card off, I'm just going to use some of the Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle Pen that came in the kit and I'm just going to add sparkle all over those balloons and also all over those banners and um, that is going to do it for this card. I love the way it came out. It is so cute and it's going in my birthday card stash for somebody's upcoming birthday. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, comment below if you'd like to make a comment. And again, I want to say thank you. And don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're not. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.